All right, hello everybody, and welcome to wait for it, Sega game and treasure. It'll start now. Who's good? Yeah. All right. The game in question is Gunstar Heroes. If you've never played this game, it is incredibly fun, and it's just big blow-up everything. And some of you might notice that I do have a uh, co-host this time. This is Maestro J Doggy from uh, YouTube, and a hey, friend folks. of mine. Or rather, Maestro. He actually gets a little upset whenever I say Maestro. <laughs> well, I mean, it's just a matter of you saying it wrong. Yes, I know. That's why I corrected myself. Anyway, uh, we're only going to do one player because Netplay is kind of down right now. And, and um Because he's probably never played the game. He doesn't want to try. <laughs> we're going to go with that. I, and if I did try, <laughs> it would just be a hilarious fail. And he would just anyway, be yelling at me the whole time, You noob! <laughs> no, actually, I've played with worse. Um, I always play with free shot. I choose Tracer as the first one, but um, I'm going to try my best to show off quite a few of the actual shots, even though I'm going to grab the shot I'm going to be using quite early. Getting used to my controller setup here. Tracer rounds, uh, lock onto your opponent, and destroy them like this. You can jump. You can grab onto things. Wait. This is, in my opinion, the easiest level there is. Even though some people would say you got to start on pink. No, start on orange. Orange gives you the best items, the easiest ways through. And, uh, yeah, just, just start on orange. There's nothing you really need to do. Unless you're playing on hard. Well, even on hard, orange is still the easiest stage, but not my favorite. Because uh, you... you You'll see him. That is Commander Orange. Oh, hi. How's it going? <laughs> I will destroy you. I will so, eat you. So, Commander Orange, I see Agent Orange got uh, promoted. Yeah. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, he did. Um, it, it's better than uh, a lot of the other ones because there's pink, there's green, there's uh, black as your enemies. There's also Colonel Red and General uh, something. Most of or no, Red So, who, you're, who I'm playing as right now. The second player is blue. Uh, the, the absolute big evil of this, I'm not going to spoil right now. And as you can tell, I'm not bad at the game, but then again, I've also got a very cheap, spammable weapon. Which, you have not seen the cheapest, spammable weapon yet. Well, it does look pretty you cheap will. so far, but it looks like a lot of fun, all the same. Like, yeah, I no, no, have the, a chance at this game. Yeah, no, seriously, for new people to play this game, always choose free shot. That way you can move in the Metroid fashion. You're not locked into a place whenever you're shooting. Um, this guy right here is actually like a mini-boss, and he drops health. Press down and fire to pick up uh, items. That is going to be essential. There's a double tracer. There's double tracer again. And you get the ninja stars. They actually start flying around you. Uh, tracer fire and tracer force. Neither of these are my favorite uh, weapons. But tracer fire, you get a uh, controllable fireball. I am not that good with this controllable fireball. But uh, well, the very concept of okay, a controllable fireball uh, is amazing and would be very useful. Yeah. In, uh, there's just for. plain fire. Also, you can press the A button to uh, change your uh, change your uh, weapons at any time. Uh, this is force. This is force fire. Yeah, fireballs. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> and this is just plain force. There's a ton of weapons in this game, if you couldn't tell. Um, give me a second here. I will try and do something here. Come on, man, you uh, gotta force save the tracer. World. Yeah, Force Tracer is uh, this. I'm gonna stick with uh, Tracer Tracer for now. This is, again, not my uh, favorite weapon in the game, but right now, it's incredibly easy and spammable. So, 
you got to kind of keep uh, what whatever you can get as far as DPS in this game. My favorite weapon actually has to do with lightning. Lightning. Yes, you All get right. a lightning gun. I want to say that. Yeah. Um, the the two you can get two of the same weapon almost all the time and uh, ow <laughs> nothing I could do about that because uh, uh, again th this does lock on true but <sighs> the, it only locks on to a it, it locks on to all enemies on screen and the feet are considered enemies so you gotta kind of you gotta kind of trick it out to get it to work. And uh, my favorite weapon in this game is actually Tracer Lightning. It creates a box of lightning that locks onto an opponent and just continues to do damage. This is Zabzorum in a cage of torture? Yes, and it only works on, or it only locks onto one person at a time, but... So it's very yeah, personable, it... I hate you, pretty much. Yeah, it, it, and it kills everything in the screen because it goes, it deals damage and it just zips around the screen so fast. And this is General Orange. This is the actual boss of this stage. And you see exactly why I say that this is the easiest stage in the game. Hmm. It's just incredibly short. And then you got this guy who will just do a shoulder press or try and fart <laughs> at you, will jump He's on that propeller. He's just going to show off the whole time and that is his downfall. Yep, pretty much. That, that's his uh, fart attack. He will suplex you. He will also jump up to the... Uh, he will also jump up to the top, like this, and do a elbow drop, but he can't hit you if you're on the bottom. The only thing he can do to hit you on the bottom is that fart. Hmm. Yeah, um, so, yeah, easiest boss in the game, because he can barely hurt you. Whereas, I just... I just defeated him, and I took some stupid hits because I don't have the lightning tracer. Yeah, this game is not exactly... I mean, it gets harder in the lo later levels, but seriously, this is... This is fun. This is, yeah, this watching is that first level makes me think, hey, I bet I could play this, but I'm sure what next level I'd rage quit. Um, actually, this is the level where anybody would rage quit if they were actually smart. <laughs> uh, because All right. just just watch. Watch. It. I'm already on a cart, and uh, you can jump from ceiling to floor, and yeah, this this is where uh, the game kicks it up because you got to fight the seven force. The seven force. The seven force. And uh, yeah, it sounds like gonna a be... Doors cover band. It does, doesn't it? But at the same time, this this is actually going to be more awesome than a Doors cover band. Yes! No! 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 <laughs> Crap! <laughs> oh, oh, that no. is hilarious. <laughs> that is hilarious. I'm not going to lie. That was actually pretty damn funny. That was, uh, yeah, I'm actually happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm like, yes, there's light! No! <laughs> You know what just happened? You just gave a child a, a big lollipop, but in the middle, there was just a fish. That's what just happened. Yeah. It's one of those edible insect lollipops. Yeah. And the insect is electrified and zaps you the second you bite into it. No, no, it just tastes like uh, absolute ass whenever you, you know, it's a stink bug wrapped in actual hard candy coating. Yeah. It seems yeah, like that's that, going to be that, the rest of this game, just that ass candy coating. Powdered in farts. <laughs> well, actually, the game gets a lot more fair. This stage just sucks because everything flies by you so fast. Wait, so You've gotta it's be really easy, good at that. then crazy hard, and then it's just fair. So the game can't really make up its mind, you're saying. Yeah, no, no. It's, it, this game is actually fairly balanced, which is weird how it is. Just, it's just a weird game, all in all. Just, you know, everything's uh, in the wrong but it's No, balanced. no, no, I am not grabbing the fire. Quit <laughs> trying to get me mobile fireballs. Mobile fireballs are not good in this stage. 
I need to be able to stand one stand in one place and just obliterate everything on screen. <laughs> yeah, fix shot makes this a lot more difficult because you know me holding the fire button and moving around would not be possible. Just holding the fire button, I'd be standing here like this, but I'd be able to control my shot in any direction I wanted, but I'd just be locked in one spot. It it makes the game a lot harder. Oh, and but this it is does awesome. make it much funnier. Yes, it does make it much funnier. He's throwing his men at me. <laughs> because the cool thing is, if you got a buddy with you, you know, like me, we yeah. can either watch you or we can watch the guys running around in a train on fire. Screaming. Yeah. No, seriously, if you're going to play this game, you've got to have, like, the only way to play this game is to actually have a friend around either playing or watching because that's what makes this game. This game is incredibly fun. Just be Don't a backseat player. Exactly. You need someone else just to come in and see what the hell is going on because this game is absolute insanity. I mean, it's not quite zeroing insanity, but, yeah, no, this is the seven force. He's got seven forms, and he will transform into them. Zero that wing just... would... I don't know about that. I, I would feel this is much more fast-paced. Zero wing no, is no, just no, kind no. of awkward funny. No, no. Have you ever actually beaten zero wing? I will say I have not. Dude, you should see the ending of zero wing. Uh, that just, just the ending of zero wing alone makes that game invalid for any argument. Alright, I As will... A, Put that on my to-do list, and all you at home should do the same. Yes, because uh, seriously, Zero Wing has an absolutely awesome ending. It's, yeah. It, it, and not so awesome anyway, in a good way. this boss is weird. Yeah, like I said, this is the Seven Force. He's got seven forms. He will do one of them each time you defeat him. And uh, this is actually, like I said, this is the most rage-inducing boss in the game. Because he will do things like that. I, I'm just and curious will... what shape he's going to take next. Yeah, uh, it listed all of them actually at the beginning of the fight. There's a tiger form, there's a gun form, there was crab form, which I think he's in now. Come on, jump. Uh... you got to hit jump twice to... Uh... Oh, crap. <laughs> To actually, yeah, you gotta actually be good at dodging here, and I am not. Yeah, that just the sight of that thing is like, oh. Uh, I'm not bad at the game, just so you know. Just not really good at all. You guys at home, I swear, I'm not bad. The game uh, there's an cheating. LP curse for a reason. No, there's an LP curse for a reason, just so you know. <laughs> Uh-oh. Crap. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I, I, I'm telling you, this boss is just hell. Because you got to pay attention to every last movement he makes. It's and like if you don't, you're going to end up dead. Steroids. This is a sea urchin. No, I jumped. I. <laughs> and that is game over. Okay, oh. well, uh, uh, that's Rage the quit. end of this. That's the end of this recording. Um, I will try this again next time, and hopefully, Maestro J Doggy will uh, agree to come back. Because I would love seriously, it. He... thank you for inviting me right. to your homes, ladies and gents. <laughs> all right. Well, that's the end of this recording, and good night. Good night, all.